stop the music. Coffee's ready. Yes, I timed that on purpose. Hello guys, why are you? David Franca here. DavidFranca.com with the weekend of Lockity Vlog. Are you guys gaining weight? You're getting heavier and heavier. Just kidding, I, I can't talk. You see me? Have you seen my older videos? Clearly I've gained weight over the years. I'm trying to lose weight. Eventually, at some point. Anyway guys, how are you? Welcome to the weekend of Lockity Vlog. My fingers were getting pinched by my tripod, which by the way, I freaking love this tripod. If you guys want like a reliable miniature tripod, check out the Pixie Mini. It's right below on Amazon, believe me. It is probably some of the best $25 you can spend on any form of video equipment. It makes vlogging so much easier because I can put it down on services, I can hold it like this. It's very versatile. Look, it's got a ball head, so I can rotate it like this and keep it like that. But of course, I'm not gonna do that right now, so there you go. So, boom, just wanted to start out the vlog with a tip. So guys, how are you? How was your week? Me personally, I had a fantastic week. I got a lot of work done. I got a lot of streaming done on twitch.tv slash David DeFranco, not DeFranco Gaming, David Franco. And I got my first subscribers and my first set of bits, you know, in other words, donations or cheers from my viewers on Twitch because as of, I believe, two days ago, ooh, that's bright, daylight bulbs, I am now a Twitch affiliate. Okay, so I'm not a Twitch partner, but I am an affiliate and I'm very happy with that. Allow me to explain. Looks like somebody's been on the keyboard again. That somebody is Maui. Let's scroll up there. 155091, I did hit 155,000 this week, guys, so thank you so much for your support. Okay, so for Twitch, when you're basically an affiliate, that means you're kind of partner, but you're not. So yeah, I'm Twitch affiliate now. This means that I can earn subscribers. In other words, I get $5 per subscriber, but I believe Twitch takes half a cut, so I make $250 per sub. But the thing is, if you're a Twitch Prime user, you get a free sub every month. So yeah, if you basically want to donate your sub to a creator that you want to support each month, you can do that, which I think is really cool. And I am now up to... What is that? Oh, the Evil Within 2. I am so behind on my new releases. Apparently Knack 2 is already out. Where the hell did that come from? It feels like it came out of nowhere. I I've just been so focused on Destiny and whatever. Okay, so anyway, my following count, my followers count is currently up to 800 and 81 followers. Thank you so much for that, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm trying my hardest to get big on Twitch. Like, I want to become more noticeable on Twitch. I don't know if I'm gonna be as big on Twitch as I am YouTube, and I'm not even big on YouTube, but I'm proud of what I've done on YouTube. You know, it's on the past 11 years, that's a long time. But I definitely wanna make Twitch a primary focus of my content moving forward. And that includes setting up extensions, so eventually when you do um, subscribe or donate bits or cheers, then you will be acknowledged publicly in the stream. I'm going to get an extension that shows like the bits falling into the jar. It's really cool. It's, I don't know, it's just something you have to experience for yourself if you haven't been on Twitch lately. Also, I'm going to start giving personal shout outs to um, the viewers who give the most cheers slash bits for a week. So, this week's shout out. Damn, that cop was booking. Shout out to Garen Dan Longsnoot. I hope I said that right. Right there. He was nice enough to give me 500 bits last night. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe each bit is equivalent to a penny. So he gave me 500 pennies. All right, so I'm not doing Twitch for the money, but like I said in the Patrons Only vlog, which is right back there, I'm gonna publish it soon. I'm not doing Twitch for the money, obviously. I mean, I'm very, 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 very tiny on Twitch compared to anyone who actually matters on Twitch. But me, no, I'm pretty much non-existent. But I do have um, a steady following every night I stream, which I think is amazing, so thank you. However, with that said, I wouldn't mind bringing in some revenue on Twitch. That would be really, really cool. So yeah, this is just the beginning of hopefully something big for my brand, and I just wanna see where it takes me. So thank you to everyone who is making this possible and I'm just getting started. You see all this? This is blank. So this is one of today's goals. I wanna set up my profile, I wanna set up my extensions, but besides that I have some clientele work to do. I have 
actually three clientele websites to work on today, which is good, which is good. I want to be kept busy. And I'm hoping to type up a DFU article all about the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 cameras. Boom, right there, in relation to yesterday's upload, which I don't think is gonna get many views, but let me tell you guys this, that edit took me a few hours. It was a lot of work, a lot of back and forth. It's the one called, which cameras perform better, Galaxy Note 8 or iPhone 7 Plus? And I think you'll be shocked by the results. I think you will legit be shocked by the results. So, you know what, I'm gonna link that video right below. Check it out for yourself when you get a chance, please. I appreciate it. Also, at some point this week, I got this. I've been treating myself to some things lately. The Minecraft Pig Xbox One controller, which is in the box right there. And I did unbox it already down the street in the office. Yes, that video will be live on Tuesday. Very, very exciting. But more exciting is this. This is my newest pride and joy the Minecraft Limited Edition Xbox One with Creeper Controller. Look at this thing. This is one of the best looking console designs I've ever seen in my life. Just downright incredible. And this purchase alone has officially gotten me back into Minecraft. Believe me, I've spent many hours already because I'm working on some kind of like Apple Store, community, courtyard, plaza kind of thing. You'll see, you'll see. It's going to be really nice. It's not going to be done for a while. But as I make progress, um, I will share updates with you guys. Okay, there you go. It's 1 o'clock. Oh, Mr. McIntosh, thank you. It's 1 o'clock. In other words, David, get to work. I had a late start today. Um, I didn't sign off on Twitch last night until like 5 a.m. Yes, 5 a.m. Um, I was really hoping to stream Minecraft last night, but for some reason, the Twitch app on Xbox One still sucks. Twitch, fix your shit, yo. Seriously, that app is, it's not terrible, but it's not reliable. It would stream Cuphead just fine, but it wouldn't stream Minecraft. It said that I would have to have a um, supported game running in the background, and I did. As far as I know, Minecraft wants you to stream. It's one of the most streamed games of all time. So hopefully it was just a technical glitch. Maybe it was related to servers. I don't know. But I'm going to try that again today because I'm definitely enjoying my time with Minecraft. It is so, so nice to be back. I'm not even close to being a Minecraft expert like most people out there probably. Um, because I like to balance my time between games. I don't like to blow too much time on a single game. But I can definitely say this. I am getting a lot better. I'm learning how redstone works. Finally. I'm learning to better utilize my tools and my time. Although with that said, I spent like two hours the other night just leveling out water. Minecraft is a time suck. It is a major time suck. But you know what? It makes me feel good about myself and it makes others feel good about themselves in the sense that you're feeling creative. You're getting stuff done. You're taking an idea in your head and you're making it a reality in a 3D world, and I think that's cool. That's why I love Minecraft. I don't love Minecraft because of survival mode. I love it because of creative mode. And I think that says a lot. Minecraft can be an amazing creative tool for people to feel more creative, to feel motivated and inspired. So I think that's why Minecraft is important. Minecraft isn't really a game to me. Like I said, it's a tool. It's more of a tool, and I think that's awesome. Okay, let's get some work done, guys. And yes, the parentals will be here later. That is crooked. I'll be right back. I'm doing the, you know, typical cheesy vlogging thing where you walk in the room as if you guys weren't already here, but then I'm like, oh, oh hello. So I'll be right back. Act surprised, okay? Act surprised. I'm trying my best. Yeah, I've been, I've been a little busy, guys. Been spending that money. Woo! You gotta love it. But I'm not gonna unbox them yet. Gotta stay focused. I got caught up with one client. Now, to catch up with another client. Guys, I'm going all in with my media sites, which I'll talk about later. And by media site, I mean media service but it's actually directly related to what I want to talk about later. So stay tuned. Hey, Maui. Daddy's working. PFS, or I had to redo it. And there you go. And another... I, and, and I wanted to say... Hold well, on, Leah, hold on. Another exclusive vlog. Ready for patrons. Guys, look at this. 
one hour and 42 oh, minutes I'm long. Like, oh, you guys are awesome. That's crazy. These vlogs, <laughs> boom, they're just movie length. They they are movie length vlogs. You know, I will say this, and, and I'm this proud is of that. Just me being completely honest with you guys, I don't care if I get something for free. I will tell you how I feel. There's a little sneak preview. Resume. Most of these copy and write file systems have a snapshot capability. I know APFS theoretically does. All right, you see that email right there? That right there is a prime example of why I should be a Squarespace affiliate. This person, her name is Emily, doesn't know me on YouTube, doesn't know me any other way, except she found me through Udemy.com, which is kind of like a course site, a site I had a phase with. I don't, I don't use it as much nowadays. Just wasn't worth my time, I guess. Yeah, but anyway, Emily was needing Squarespace help and she said that Squarespace's own website, like their own resources, yeah, they basically weren't helping her. But then she came across my videos on Udemy and she said my videos are more helpful than Squarespace's. And I think that's really cool. That's like the biggest compliment I could get as a content creator. When someone would rather go to a third party than first party for you know help and resources and support, that's huge. And it just angers me and annoys me so much that Squarespace will not allow me to be a Squarespace affiliate. Not because they don't like me or anything, it's nothing personal, I didn't, I didn't really do anything to piss them off. They just cut back on their affiliates and their, and their uh, partners big time. Basically, they cut out all the little people and they stuck with the big brands, which I can't blame them. But at the same time, doesn't every single sale help? So, I mean, if I have people like that reaching out to me, You'd think, in theory, I could turn sales like that, and I used to all the time. And it, it just sucks. It sucks. And honestly, that's one of the main reasons I'm going to be trying out Wix.com, W-I-X.com, because I feel like they can treat me better. Now, I'm not leaving Squarespace. I love Squarespace. I've been, I've been using Squarespace since I was a college student. I just love it that much. It's a very solid platform. Sometimes, in my opinion, it misses out on some very basic features. But that's okay, not every service or platform, you know, is perfect, obviously, because we all have different needs, you know, requests and whatever. So, with my defrancomedia.com site, which is not live yet, it's not going to be live until probably November, I basically want to bring focus again around my design services, graphic design, web design, photography. Yes, photography. I'm going to try to get into like the photo retouching business, which isn't huge. It's not a huge business because nowadays you can easily retouch photos using free apps, which is cool for the consumer and sucky for the prosumer who's trying to make money. But that's today's world. You have to adapt. So yeah, with defrankingmedia.com, I'm happy to announce and excited to announce that I will be hosting it with Wix dot com and not Squarespace. Now let me make it clear one more time. I'm not I am not leaving Squarespace. Just in case Squarespace happens to see this, I love you guys. You guys make awesome, awesome stuff. But I'm just looking to branch out, explore new things, and obviously I don't want to limit myself to only one platform. But even then I don't limit myself because I use WordPress on occasion. But I do use Squarespace for clients because it's easiest to manage. It's easiest to give them login info and it's easiest for them to log in and change things once my you know, portion of the job is complete. So with that said, I'm stoked. I am about Wix.com and I actually am already a Wix affiliate. So if you wanna build a website with ease, check out my Wix affiliate link right below. Full disclaimer, if you sign up, um, I get paid at some point. I, I, don't, I don't know when, maybe in like 45 or 60 days, it's a while. But it helps me directly as a content creator and it helps you because you're going to be creating a website about your business, your photography, your hobby, your blog, whatever. Wix is huge. It's, it's, like, it's like Squarespace, but in theory it could be easier to use and possibly more affordable. So I'm excited to use it. Okay, with that said, what do you say I unbox all of this stuff? Alright, Munchpack I don't need to unbox, but you guys all know who Munchpack is. Great company. So, which one? Eeny, meeny, miny, freaking mo, mo, mo. Let's do this one. And by the way, I love talking about business, and I realize it's not the most exciting topic of conversation to probably the good majority of people watching my videos. They watch my videos because of the vlogging and my family and the pets and whatever. But I have two primary sides to me as a person and as a content creator. Uh, one, technology, which includes obviously, you know, uh, Apple, Microsoft, Samsung, all that stuff, video games, music, 
because that falls into technology, right? Apple Music. And then there's the business side of me who especially enjoys working with affiliates. I love marketing my business. I love advertising. I've always been fascinated by advertising, even as a kid. Like I loved watching video game ads and I and I loved I don't know, I loved I loved feeling excited when I saw a new ad on TV. And yeah, that could be said for maybe most people if that ad is related to something you especially enjoy, like uh, video games or whatever. But I've just, I've just always loved the idea of trying to sell something to someone, but only if I use that product myself. And I said this in the Patrons Only vlog. In older videos of mine, I admit, I used to promote products just for the money. And I'm being completely transparent with you when I say that. I'm not, I'm not proud of that, but keep in mind, this was a while ago. And I actually turned down a recent partnership offer where a company wanted to pay me $500 to unlock my Verizon Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, as you may or may not know, Verizon is unlocked by default, and this company basically wanted me to unlock the phone on camera, but never show the Verizon logo, and still pay me $500. After weeks upon weeks of going back and forth via email, I eventually came out and said, look, I don't want to deceive my audience, especially if compensation is involved. That's, that's just not me. I have a brand image to retain, and that's very important to me. And they completely understood. So perhaps we will revisit that partnership when the iPhone 10 comes out in a month or so, uh, because that will be on AT&T. And well, as you may or may not know, again, AT&T, unlike Verizon by default, is not unlocked. So that could be a legitimate uh, sponsored video. So I guess the point of this clip is I'm just giving you guys advice, my fellow content creators. If you're going to participate in sponsorships, affiliate programs, partnerships, all that stuff, make sure you're honest with yourself and your viewers. Actually, another great example is a while ago I was sponsored by Full Sail University. And well, honestly, I did not know they had a bunch of drama behind them. Yeah, I mean, I never even thought people loathed Full Sail University. Okay, so I rolled the ad, I got paid by full screen because I got that through full screen. And don't get that confused. Full screen, full sale, two completely different brands. But I get sponsorships now and then through full screen because I'm a full screen partner. So yeah, eventually I rolled the ad and people just tore me up. They were like, David, why the hell would you condone this? Why would you get sponsored by full sale? Why are you supporting this? I didn't know. I honestly didn't know. And since then I've received additional sponsorship requests from Full Sail through Full Screen, and I just did not participate because I don't want to make you guys mad. I like being transparent. So in other words, I only like to be sponsored and affiliated with products and services that I use myself. And that's exactly why I talked about Wix a few minutes ago because I'm going to be using it myself. I'm excited to try something new. Okay, I thought I was unboxing something, but that just goes to show you. I have a fun side to me and a business side. And obviously they can overlap. Tech can be business, business can be fun. And well, honestly, that's what being a self-employed content creator is all about. Being yourself, trying new things, failing, succeeding, and just seeing what works. And honestly, that's a beautiful thing to think about. We have the internet. We can literally do anything, anything, we want. Sure, a little money might be involved in, you know, getting things start up, but isn't that the American dream? And I say the American dream loosely. There's no reason why you can't do this in the UK or Australia or whatever. With the internet, we have creative freedom to do anything we want. So please, this is, okay. I'm not getting triggered when I say this. Don't let anybody stop you from doing something you love in life. Because what the hell is the point in living if you're going to live by the rules of others? Rules don't exist in people's minds. They don't. There are no set rules on the internet. At least, loosely put. Obviously, there's rules about using pornography and violence and hate crimes. Don't do that. But I'm saying, like, if you want to start a website about something you love, or a blog, or food recipes, or whatever, then just do it. Just do it. Stop saying it and start doing it. Man, I thought I was opening some packages. <laughs> I, just, I just love this stuff. I legitimately love what I do. All right, here we go. Let's get this open, guys. You know what's, no, no, keep going, keep going, David. 
I might, I might save all that for another video at some point. All right, first up, this I did not order. This looks like a gift. What is this? Midnight Blue Bistro Mug? What? Okay, I can send a thank you note by scanning the QR code, but I don't see an actual thank you note. Whoever sent this, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You guys are just incredible. Let's see what this looks like. Dude. Oh my god. Clearly, whoever sent me this watches the vlogs because last week I dropped my mug. My last favorite mug and now I've been using mugs like these. There's nothing wrong with my Michael Scott mug and there's nothing wrong with my Yoshi mug. I mean, I love these mugs. But these are my favorite types of mugs, the wider ones, because let's face it, I need as much coffee as I can get. So this is amazing. There's four of them in this box. Oh, I really wish I had the person's name, but that's a guy, that's a guy. I can send a thank you note directly, which is really cool. I love that feature. Wow, whoever sent this, thank you so much. This is such a nice surprise. Just want to make sure there's no note in the box now. Whoever sent this, you are amazing. That is really, really nice of you. Okay, let's put that aside and unbox the next thing. I think this is Maui's cat litter. Nothing exciting, but hey, when you're a cat, you need litter, right? At least if you're an inside cat, but if you're an outside cat, the world is your toilet. Quote me on that. The world is your toilet. Yep, litter. Unfortunately, they didn't have the 40 pound bag I usually get. For some reason, they were sold out on Prime and I wasn't gonna pay insane shipping from a third party seller. So for now, this is fine. Cat litter. I can't believe I'm talking about cat litter in a vlog, but this is a good brand. It really is. Put that down there. This is really light. Oh, I know what it is. Open this carefully. I don't know how close it is. Okay, we're fine. This is for the office. And by the way, I made plenty of changes to the office this week. I have a lighting kit in my studio. I have uh, my cubes more neatly organized. The cable management is better than ever. Of course, I will show you guys later because I should be over there later today when I set up these. Acoustic foam. They're a lot smaller than I thought. That's okay, it's a start, it's a start. So basically, acoustic foam, for those not aware, it's not meant to soundproof your office, or room or whatever, or studio, but it's meant to dampen the sound. It's meant to cut down on reverb and echo. Danny Manouk says, have you considered getting a switch dock for the office? Maybe, Danny, maybe. But then again, I like the idea of taking my Switch out of the dock and using it in a portable mode because I rarely do that. But now that I have an office outside of my house, I find myself using my Switch um, portably more often. Not more often than playing on the TV, but more often than I'm using it portably now. Okay, but I'm not done yet, guys. I have a few more things. I got these things for my acoustic foam. Velcro strips along with command strips. You cannot use these by themselves with acoustic foam. They just won't stick. But I saw some tech vloggers say that you need all this together and it works beautifully. So these right here, basically everything you need. And as you know, I got my Minecraft Xbox One. I'm officially back in the Minecraft. So I figured I can't just stop at Minecraft. I got Minecraft Story Mode, very cool. The Complete Adventure, and uh, this game is from Telltale Games. You know, in other words, the company who made the Walking Dead series, which I never finished, but it, it was fun. Peggy 12. Interestingly enough, this is meant to work in Europe. I did not know that, but in theory, this should be fine on an American Xbox One. So there you go. Very successful unboxing session. I hope you enjoyed. Yes, my first brew in my new mug. And I did just send the uh, thank you note via Amazon. Amanda, 
thank you for the mugs. I appreciate it so, so much. I love coffee, I love mugs, so that's like, that's like just, just a perfect gift. Thank you so much. That's just awesome. Oh God, I need milk. I need milk. I'm getting low. I also need to clean my counter. Look at that. It's like dried up coffee or something. It's been there all week. I think I'm gonna relocate into my living room. 155101. Move it on up. I will never do that again. In this vlog. Turn off! Thank you. Great TV. Great company. Samsung. Love your products. Best TV I've ever owned. Look how thin the bezel is. Look at that! So good. I'm gonna get my coffee flowing. I'm gonna add a little more to that. Look at that, look at that. A little tip for you. If you wanna reuse a single serve, like immediately after using it the first time, do this. Lift and close. Go to the smallest amount. Tap strong or bold. It might be worded differently on yours. And brew it. And if you listen, it brews it slowly. So that way I'm getting the remnants of this single serve, but at the same time, it's making it bold. Yeah, that's just a nice way of topping off your coffee. Ba -da -ba -ba -bum. All right, I'm gonna relocate into my living room, work on my Twitch profile, put a heavier emphasis on the bits and the cheers, technically the same thing, my subscribe button, all that stuff. I just, I just wanna make my Twitch profile official. And I'm hoping to stream on Minecraft later. I'm really, really hoping. I don't know why it wasn't working before. And that angers me because I love Minecraft so much. I just, I just want to show off what I've, you know, been, been creating. But if that doesn't work, I can always try this. It's just, I don't know. I just hope it was like a server related issue. Because I can't imagine Minecraft not working on the stream. People do it all the time. So I don't know what the issue was last night. Alexa! Stop! However, I do know this. When I eventually get my gaming PC built, I will have a dedicated capture card for consoles like my Xbox One and PS4 and even older consoles, which would make it so much easier for me because I can literally just plug in the video source, the audio source and whatever, and then just capture my screen instead of having to go through Twitch on Xbox or PS4. That would be so, so much easier. And that would also allow me to stream my desktop and my PC for that matter, like, you know, in terms of PC gaming. I just wish I had the funds to, well, technically I do have the funds to build a PC right now, but I have to be responsible. I have a mortgage to pay every month, and now I have rent to pay every month for, for my office, so. I'm a little set back, but if all goes well, I will begin building my gaming PC next month. I was going to do it this month, but then I decided to buy an office. Let's do this. Let's get that caffeine flowing. Milky milk. This is why I love my Apple TV. I'm currently using the uh, Twitch app called Twitchy. I'm watching the stream here. Chat room on the right. Shout out to Anthony up, and Casey. Both these peeps watch my streams. Thank you guys. But check this out. I can chat using Siri. Ready? Say hello to the vlog! Exclamation point. I love the music in this game. Of course, it's gonna say vlog. I have the soundtrack somewhere. But that's okay. You will know what I mean. Give it a second, there's always Actually, a delay on Twitch. Here it comes. Right here. Hello vlog. I'm assuming you meant vlog. <laughs> yeah. Yep, there you go. I love it. Twitch.tv slash David Franco. Have I mentioned I'm streaming on Twitch now? Still watching you, Mr. Manuk. All right, guys, I've been hard at work here on my Twitch profile, a lot of trial and error because naturally Twitch wants to center everything. But the thing is, if you have the chat open, this chat is going to cover your content on the banner, which introduced a problem. So I was like, OK, what to do about this? Well, I figured why not left justify everything that way it aligns with my profile icon and whether you watch the Twitch stream with or without the chat like that, the banner still appears fine. Yeah, it's not centered, but I'd rather that be off center than covered with the chat displayed. And scrolling down here, you'll see that I set up my sections. I call this best bits by the book. That might be temporary, but I don't know. It's kind of 
catchy, right? Best bits by the book. So basically the top tiers with the bits will appear here. So shout out to Snoot, Terry Normore, and Spiller18. Those are my top three contributors of bits so far, which is very, very cool. You guys are awesome. Going over here to the middle, this is linked directly with my Amazon Associates account. So basically I have my newest games listed right here. So for example, if I'm streaming a game, you can scroll down and see what I'm streaming. And actually plus it'll say it around here somewhere. But um, anyway, this is a great breakdown to buy the games that I'm currently playing. Stardew Valley, Destiny 2, Minecraft, Minecraft Story Mode, Cuphead, Overwatch, and Infinite Warfare. I think this one list could be quite useful. And finally over here, probably the most boring section, this is still a work in progress, just a basic welcome message. Also, I set up extensions, which is what you saw there, the leaderboard, and I also have extensions for emotes, kind of like when you're watching a Facebook video, you know how the reactions kind of go across the screen? Well, no, actually they pop up on the screen. But yeah, so on Twitch, I have an extension, so if you react with an emote, they're actually going to go across the screen with some kind of fancy animation. I, I haven't seen it myself yet because I'm not streaming right now, but in theory, it's going to be pretty cool. I love this. And of course, Twitch has an entire dashboard of stats. Look at this. This is very interesting. Average view count is 22, which is a little low, but you know what? I'm in the process of building it, so I'll get there. My peak time last night was 1.35 in the morning, but let's do this. Let's do the last seven days. Average view count 18. I gained 90 followers in a week. Thank you for that. I created 10 clips and my average stream length, three hours and 51 minutes. So yeah, just like my typical YouTube content, my Twitch streams are very long. And of course I have all this info down here. Most people are viewing from the US. We have a good chunk coming from Canada followed by UK, Australia, Poland, Germany, Denmark, Belgium, Japan, and even Finland. That is so cool. And of course I have my revenue right there. I don't know if I can show that. Maybe I'll talk about that in the future. Event manager. I think I will be creating events in the future just to get people hyped. So cool. There you go. I love it. This is just the beginning. And shout out to Zoe Collins for sending me a friend request six hours ago. Boom, accepted. Add me, I appreciate it. Pause. All right, I'm going to connect my Minecraft pig controller. Yes, I haven't even synced it yet because I got home last night. And I think, what, I went on Twitch? Yeah. Okay, so let's try to get this working. Guys, listen to this. This Minecraft limited edition Xbox One S has a custom startup sound. You ready? Listen. Is that nice? I don't know exactly what part of Minecraft that's from. I'm assuming it's the theme. I don't recognize it right away. However, I will say it sounds like one missed call. Do -do -do -do. Is that the movie I'm thinking of? Anyway, that's pretty cool. All right, let's sync this because Mr. Piggy wants to connect. Switch it over to the Xbox One. And now, let's see here. You press that, and you press this. There's a button on the side somewhere. Isn't that on the side? Oh, right there. That's right. My old Xbox is on the side. Yes. We have connection. Very cool. Now, I'm going to test this. For some reason, Amazon sent me the European version of Minecraft Story Mode. I'm not sure why. This has happened before with some game. I think it was on the Switch, but the Switch is region free, and the Xbox One S should be region free. So I'm gonna try it right now, and if it doesn't work, then I'll have to send it back to Amazon, but it should work. Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. I'm excited about this. All right, burning. Oh, there's nothing in there, that's all right. Actually, that's the first disc I've put in this Xbox so far. Huh, first time for everything, right? Let's see here, games and apps. Isn't 
the controller awesome? There's a spot on it. What is that? I didn't do that. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like there's a very small defect in the pink where they sprayed it right there, I guess. You can barely see it. I'm just extremely picky. That's okay. Not a big deal. Yeah, I'll forget about it over time. Let's see here. Yep, installing. Cool. It's 809 megabytes for those curious. So now I have both. I feel like five years old rolling around on the floor. So now I have both the Creeper controller and the Pig controller. How cool is that? It is so nice to be back in the Minecraft. Now, if only I can stream it. I need my fix. But the pretzels are going to be here soon, so I'm going to spend time with them. Then I'm going to try to squeeze in some Minecraft tonight before our PS4 streams. Yes, PS4 streams. I think we're doing Iron Banner tonight on Destiny 2. Maybe some Overwatch. I haven't played Overwatch in weeks. Probably some Stardew Valley just to manage my crops. Maybe some Uno. And then that's it. Sounds like a good night to me. A little piggy biggie. I'm sorry, guys. Just look at it. It's just so damn cute. And look, there's even a tail on the back. Very good, David. Dude, we're at the office. We went to Rudder's to get David some food. Look, this is legit. They cooked this in a wok. I, I got lo mein them. with broccoli and chicken. It's so very chicken. good. Spicy. I actually watched How's them the cook chicken? it in a wok. Very good. good. Is it meaty or is yeah, it rubber? tender? Yeah, it's, it's tender. Actually looks good. So uh, yeah, it so it's good. actually cooked in a wok. In a wok. Which is I crazy. Was Give me the honest opinion. Who has better food, Rudders or Wawa? Be honest. Rudders. Rudders. But who has better food, Rudders or sheets? sheets or Wawa? Oh, definitely sheets. Who has better food, sheets or Wawa or Rudders? That I can't say because they each have their good. We stuff. gotta go. They okay. each have their good stuff. Okay. Congrats, David. Thank you. Yes, Dad. Thank you for handling Comcast. Finally, it's handled. Look. They'll be here Tuesday, right? Oh my God, I think it's so deep. Look at that. Thanks, buddy. But yes, ignore, ignore my list. Are, are, are they running? Dad, you got They're sticky. Right. Dad, you got for me for Christmas. I remember. Dad, first of all, hello. We haven't said hi to you in the vlog. Hi, everyone. I gotta go. I need to eat. I haven't had lunch today. What was that? <laughs> um, You've been lunch. Anyway, so Comcast, you guys are irresponsible. Here. Yeah. Here's the thing. So my I name, this over here. my no, request was never in the system. Even though I completed the online checkout, Xfinity never went out of their way to contact me saying that they're not going to be here. Yeah, what kind of company COVID. doesn't follow up saying, oh, we're not going to show up? <laughs> no, that's what makes me mad. That's like me saying I'm going to your house next weekend, but I never show up or, or I don't tell you. You better show up. Dave, you have the key? It makes me so mad. I, I, I hate that. You have your keys? Yeah, I have my key. <laughs> Actually, I'm fine. I'm just glad it's handled. Thank you, Dad. Peace. Be careful. They're going right downstairs. But yes, Comcast is handled. Thank you. I've, I've been back and forth with support on their chat all week. Not all week, but here and there. Very, very irresponsible company. And unfortunately, around here, Xfinity has a monopoly. Um, outside of DirecTV. And I'm, I'm not going to do that U-verse crap. Oh, no, actually, is, is that is that AT t Anyway, I rely on Xfinity because I actually like their service. But the fact that they never reached out to me it's just crazy. You don't do that to your customers. So thankfully, it's being handled, and they'll be here Tuesday to connect things because we're not technically wired yet. Well, and trust me, if we were wired already, then I would have done this myself because that's how I did it in my last house and my new house here in Strasburg. Um, you just got to give them the MAC address of the modem. And no, I did not order a modem from them. I have my stuff back there, actually. Router and modem are hitting, or hitting, or sitting on the windowsill. I can't talk. Guys, I just want to eat. And then I'll show you my changes to the office. And speaking of the office. I've surrounded the enemy and I'm slowly starving them. Rudders, rudders, rudders. You continue to surprise me. That was legit. Seriously, if you didn't tell me that wasn't from a Chinese restaurant, I'm not sure I'd believe you. Did I say that right? Not from a Chinese restaurant. The point is, it was pretty damn good. You know, for a convenience store. Okay, let's check out the studio. However, please keep in mind, it is far from done. This is far from done. But now that we have the internet confirmed, 
I'm not gonna go into that again. <laughs> Seriously, that is the biggest step that we could have made with this office, besides getting the office itself. Internet is everything. Seriously, try going one day without using the internet. I just can't do it. It literally runs my life. It runs my business. So, here we go. Wait, hold on. I have to close it for effect. And we are putting up the second curtain. Either tonight or tomorrow. Here we go. Welcome to stage one of my studio. Check it out, got that video lighting kit going. Let's turn the main lights on, which does a decent job, but this helps a lot. Boom. Look at that, it's so big. And boom. And it actually looks pretty good. Now this is typically the kind of view you're gonna see in future videos. Not all future videos, because obviously I'm not gonna resort to just using my studio. I'll be, you know, there we go. Yeah, I'll be doing videos in here, in there, at home, wherever. This is just another room to keep in mind. And I love the white background. I don't like how you can see the creases on the walls, where the walls meet. I'm gonna have to do something about that. I mean, I could always crop it like this, which fixes that issue for the most part. But then again, you can't see the table. However, you guys are sitting on the desk right now. Behind you was the tripod. Right now I just have a fake plane in here. But yes, this is definitely a great start. Look at this lighting, quite balanced. And over here, I have plenty of room for eventually maybe like a B-roll table for photos and videos because eventually I want to start making money with stock video. Um, so in theory, I'm going to buy like a white table that I can just sit here at all times or I can fold it up and put it away when I'm not using it, have a product against the white wall. And that can look really, really nice. And check this out. I just happen to have outlets right there and right there, which is perfect for these lights. And of course, the lights do not get in the way of the door. Into the kitchen. Very cool. Look how bright that is. Very nice. Now, if you open the door all the way, it will hit the light. But then again, I don't see anyone swinging the door open like crazy, so it's not a problem. See? Boom. And at some point, I will have artwork up here. So, like I said, this is just the beginning. And here is my equipment closet. Got a bunch of spare cables I brought from home. This is like the miscellaneous uh, drawer. This is the video drawer, HDMI cables and um, media display port and display ports. And these are all USB cables, like micro USB, mini USB, and eventually I'll put lightning cables there. There's the bag that holds all the video lighting equipment. There's my ring light and some extra cube organizers, which are now sitting over here. Check that out. Does that not look so much better now? Seriously, that helps immensely. The yellow is a little distracting over here. I think I'm gonna paint this myself one day. This is incredibly, incredibly easy to paint. Like really, really fast, so I'll worry about that later. Bathroom's making progress. I'm gonna put stuff in there, but cool. Making progress, guys. I'm loving it. Speakers are up. Not connected because my Mac Pro is not here. But now that I have internet coming Tuesday, I can finally start moving my primary equipment over here. Huge. And I did a bunch of cable management this week. The patrons saw that in the vlog. Look at that. It looks so, so much cleaner. Let's shut the lights off. And turn these lights on. The lights aren't very bright. Man, I got lights everywhere now. I love this. So cool. Oh, in a second, I will show you the bulbs too. The bulbs are massive. And of course, when I'm not using the room, or using the room for that matter, it kind of goes both ways. I can close these curtains, which helps with sound and privacy. Okay, so it kind of looks like I'm recording porn back there. I'm not, but maybe someday. Let's shut these lights off. And there you go. There are my LEDs. Very, very cool looking. I'm definitely proud of that. Uh, the cable raceway in the back helps a lot. It's like a $15, $20 piece of plastic. I'll link it right below. It's that black thing you see right here. I'm tapping it. It helps immensely, guys, immensely. And these cube organizers help a lot, too. Because look, that way you cannot see the outlets in the back. And yes, these are completely empty. These are just here for show. But you know me? 
I'm all about visuals. It's got to look nice. And right now, I got to say, it looks damn nice. Boom. Boom. I love these curtains so much. It's very official. And boom. Cool. So, what do you guys think? Nice so far, right? I like it a lot. And I mentioned it last weekend, but I'm going to say it again, just in case you don't watch every vlog. And I don't blame you because these videos are long. The fact that I have closets, while it seems so basic, it's kind of a big deal. It helps me with storage because I don't like seeing clutter. I hate clutter. I'm all about organization and presentation. So, awesome. And I have acoustic foam right here, which I might not even do tonight. I might just do that tomorrow. So there you go, guys. An update with plenty more to come, including, hopefully, a huge piece of art above my desk, which I still have to find. Let's go shopping. I almost forgot. Look how big these bulbs are, guys. By the way, this lighting kit was very easy to put together, and it's a lot better than my previous lighting kit. Look at that bulb. Isn't that massive? That is the biggest bulb I have ever owned. So cool. All right. I need two hands. Tell him real quick. I told David he should get a thing up there that says recording in process. We or, already have power. Or on air. Or, or whatever. on air. Yeah. Up there because look, we do we do have wiring already. Good I idea. I like recording in process. I actually thought about that before, but I didn't think it will be something I really do. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you for the motivation. Thank put, you, Dad, for your help. Put your laptop on. Very nice. I, I fired mine up, but I don't have an internet. Fire your laptop. Let's, see, let's do a search. Okay, maybe. For what? Not. That sign. Oh, no. Now we'll do that tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. It's already past 11 o'clock. Anyway, Mom, can you... Hold this for a second? Yes. If you don't mind. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for your help. We have two sets of curtains now. Two se so there's I love two this. wizards. I really wish I had a dedicated cameraman. It's just so much easier. Just to hire me. Just talk naturally. You, know, you need to get study with that before I start paying you. Anyway, check it out. You hear this gratitude? <laughs> you know I love you, Mom. I know. Stop. All right. So wait, that's still live? Look, one set of curtains, two set of curtains. Very cool. And eventually, I'm gonna buy hardware. Not ties, because that's too much work each time. Hooks. And we're just gonna do it like that. And now you just on the side. You throw it back. Yeah, yep. you just boom. 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 And I think mom's gonna steam these yep. for me, which is bring very the cool. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Now I'm gonna come back here tomorrow and attempt to do this. Twelve panels. Of Look, David even foam. brought his catnip over. I know. Twelve panels of this. I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet with placement. But I'll figure it out. Figure it out. Remember that show? I do. It's a good show. You are disgusting. You'll never find love. Blech. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That's a golden retriever puppy. Has Michael checked in? Oh, hey, Dwight. I asked you a question. No, he hasn't. Copyright. No, wait. Mom, Dad, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Copyright. Copyright, copyright, copyright. PS4 time. Well, would you look at that? 4.40 in the morning, and we just wrapped up, and oh my god. Yes, if you're wondering, I always sit against a pillow. Just good for your back posture. And it's more, it's more comfy that way. There goes the controller. You guys are incredible. I got a couple subscribers tonight, which I love. I got multiple followers. I think I got like 16 or 17 new, new followers tonight. But the most surprising of all, I got more donations in the form of bits. So shout out to Long Snoot, Terry, and Spiller. Spiller was the first one to donate bits. But tonight I got more bits from Terry and Long Snoot. And Long Snoot has the... Um, Actually, I just call him Snoot. I don't know why I'm saying long Snoot. Snoot has the record of 5,000 bits. Now, I'm going to give you guys a rough number. Twitch isn't about the money. Let me make that clear. It's not about making money. It's about having fun, making friends, and just enjoying yourself. 
because let's face it, we're all playing video games together. We're talking about gaming, talking about life and whatever. But the fact that you can make money in revenue is huge. So, in the past, well, this week alone, let me just say this. I've made over $100. That's crazy. That's $100 I didn't previously have. And I made that just entertaining you guys. And I love that so much. Now, will numbers like this continue on a regular basis? I don't know. It's impossible to predict. But the fact that it happened so early in the game, no pun intended, that's just incredible. So guys, thank you so much for your support. That truly is incredible. And if I can link your channels below, then I will. Let me see if Twitch tells me the actual channel. Yeah, so you know what? If I can find everyone's channel, um, Snoots, Terry's, and Spillers, those three channels will be linked right below. Because I promised you, top cheers get a shout out in my YouTube videos. So there you go. I'm telling you guys, I am all in on this Twitch thing. And up here, as you can see, top cheer by Snoot, 5,000 bits. That's just amazing. I'm in shock. I really am. Like, I, I didn't expect to get this kind of financial support on Twitch during my first real week back. I've been doing Twitch for a couple weeks now, maybe a few. But the fact that I'm an affiliate now, I consider that like my real start in taking Twitch more seriously. Incredible. I just can't say anything else. So guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I will see all of you. I was going to say in the morning, but let's face it, it's already 5 a.m. pretty much. So I'll see you later today. Coffee. Shadow. Good day, my sexy peeps of planet Earth. It is Saturday, and it's already 1.23. Guys, I woke up at almost 1 p.m., and I'm not proud to say that. I don't like waking up late because then I feel like my day is wasted. But then again, it's the weekend. I don't really have much going on. I'm going to be chilling here, going to Target later, doing stuff at the office, but not until later tonight. I'm just going to be chilling here for a while. Um, and I'm sure I'll be hanging out with the parentals. Actually, there's my dad right there. See him? Hold on. Hold on. Boom. Apparently he's spraying my window. Yep. Look at this dude. I don't think he even sees me. Look at his face. He's just so focused. <laughs> he definitely does not see me, that's funny. Alright, gonna make coffee. Amanda, thank you so much for the mugs. I'm loving them. Look at that. It's a beautiful blue. Get him, Maui. He's like, what is that? Look at that. Get him, Maui. Get it. He's like, wow, that's some rainstorm. All right, milk. Guys, last night, I'm, I'm not trying to dwell on it too much, but I'm just so honored and extremely grateful for everything you guys did for me last night on Twitch. Just incredible. And I'm gonna stream uh, Minecraft story mode soon on Xbox One. Since that does work, I tested it. Regular Minecraft does not work. Um, I posted on the Minecraft forum, so hopefully I get an answer. And also, I found some other guy where he's having a similar issue, so that makes me feel better. Yeah, I mean, it just makes me think like, oh, okay, other other people might have the same issue, so it's not you, David. It's not, it's not your Xbox, it's not your network, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yes, I will be streaming Minecraft Story Mode, and I'm excited about that. I've never played Story Mode, so it should be interesting. The fuck over here? Yo, the Evil Within 2 looks crazy. I might have to buy this. The music sounds amazing. Who needs ammo? Very nice. I cannot wait to get my PC. That way I can do all this overlay stuff. That's so cool. I do have the first Evil Within. Gotta be honest though, I wasn't completely feeling it, so I never finished it. I have it on 360, don't I? It's down here somewhere. I'm not gonna waste my time. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Never finished it. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. This I never even played. I got it for really cheap. Silent Hill HD Collection. 
Damn, guys, this is why I need to get my gaming PC. That way I can hook all this stuff up to a capture card. Because I don't believe you can stream Xbox 360 through Xbox One. That's when the streaming functionality just ceases. Um, but if I get a capture card, I can plug anything in. Guys, I'm talking like my old video game consoles, like my original PlayStation. I mean, of course I'll need adapters, but just imagine the possibilities. It's just a matter of finding the funds for a gaming PC. It's gonna happen. Hey, at least I'm making money on Twitch now. That helps, that definitely helps. Look at this dude, just chilling. Enjoying his Saturday. Good times, I just wrapped up my first stream with Minecraft story mode. How appropriate is this, using the pig controller? It always sounds weird saying pig controller, pig controller. You have to like space those words out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a steady view count um, of between like 25 and 30, which I'm happy with. So thank you so much for coming out. All right, the Prentles just brought back Sheets Pizza for me, which I'm hyped about. Let me see. I didn't get any subs or bits this time, but maybe I'll pick up some tonight. And if I do, I'll give you guys some shout outs in Z Vlog. Cool, good times. I am loving Twitch. Time to eat, I am so freaking hungry. Ding! Gee, I wonder who that is. Potter Pants, what is this hidden room? I know, we found a cover. Well, I knew it was there. Well, no, we've, yeah. The ladder was always there, the decorative ladder, so I moved it. How are you? Good. We went yeah. We went food shopping today, Dutch way. Actual food shopping. Look, we stocked the pantry for Thanksgiving. This is all Thanksgiving stuff. Very cool. And That's right. And this stuff I had. We are doing Thanksgiving here yep. and Christmas in Jersey. Yes. And Black Friday shopping here. I know. And this time I'm going to again? Kohl's. Remember I yes. forgot last year? That's so weird that you forgot about Kohl's. You love it there. Right there. Jamion, hi baby. Oh my god, beauty. Oh my god, oh my god. Jamion. Oh my god, oh my god. I think she thinks I have food. Yeah, sorry, Jess. I do have pizza though, thanks to the parentals. From thanks where? To me. Sheets. Yes. Oh. Oh, and the guy said the your, your buddy made it, and nobody else was really there except one other person waiting for food, and it got done. And instead of calling my number, he's like, pizza, pizza. Really? Yeah. Uh, I think that's trademark by Caesars. I know, right? Little Caesars, not Caesars. Okay, let me go feed. Oh my god, their pizza actually is, is really good. I think that's good. I don't, I don't want to burn it too much. Okay, that's good. Stop. How do you cancel this? Yeah, I barely had any food today. Where are the plates? Oh, I know where. No, I don't. Where are the plates? There's no attitude here, mother. Frustration, because I still don't know where everything is a year later. I could murder, and no one would know. Yeah, yeah. Pizza! Sorry. Not here, no. Guys, this is a pizza, a personal size pizza, so it's not big, but it's $3. $3 is so cheap, especially considering all the meat you get. A lot of protein, that's for sure. So that's one slightly healthy way of looking at it. I love it so much. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. So good, guys. So good. Anyway, we're going to see Led Zeppelin in concert. When? No, we're not. Oh, why that's would you not. say that? Are you going out that door? Make sure it's locked, okay? Put your finger on me. I'm you're a Twitch out, affiliate now. You going out that door? Let's get it. Yeah, yeah probably. Make sure, make sure the store door is locked. Well, look at him. You do this probably not. Yeah. Why is Hunter pantsing so much? I actually think my hair kind of worked out today. It looks kind of weird. I don't know. Looks somewhat decent, right? Considering it's shaggy. Mom, shout out to? Oh, shout out to Jess Bennett. Come here. Come on. The lighting's better over here. Jess Bennett, I heard you Jess sang. Jess Bennett, I watched your video of you singing the Family of the Opera. Opera. That's that was crazy. Awesome. Is that her name? Yes. Oh, she's a... very cool, Jess. Jess, you have talent, girl. She sings. You girl. Nice. No, she has real talent. I yeah, really, seriously. Really. I get good chills. job, Jess. I think she sings. Anytime I get chills when somebody she sings, she's in a place called really Herschel, good. I think. I always see her. She's from the UK? Is it UK? I think, yep. Probably, okay. Yep. I, I got a lot of Brits watching. I want to be your manager. I'll hook you up. 
Nah, really uh, we'll see about that. Yeah, All right. Really good, uh, you're growling? Jess, come to our Christmas come party. Come to our Christmas party. It's going to be our star tire talent. We'll I'll let give you, you play with I'll the karaoke you machine. 200 pounds. What's 200 pounds? I don't know. You can ask Siri. 200 pounds. Up. You can ask Siri. Okay. Show them a new picture. The one that's based in VA? <laughs> Not PA. I think it's the only one that's actually curved for a covered bridge. That is crazy, though. Don't touch it. That's what, Mom? Like a, Pepsi got tr a Pepsi truck got caught in a covered ah! bridge this week it's called the in old, Lancaster. It's called the Old Humpback Bridge. Mom. The old, okay, you gotta focus. The let's, Old Humpback Bridge. You gotta cut that in so it's good? Yeah. Take a look. Let's, let's test Mom real quick. I love art. Show, yeah. show, 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 show them all the artwork. Let's test Mom. Yes. Is that concave or convex? Convex. That's concave. concave. That's concave. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even you know I have a system for that, right? What? Check this out. The easiest way to not forget this is concave typically goes in. You're going into a cave. I was just going to say something to do with cave. There you go. And obviously the opposite is convex. It's not a word that's commonly used, I think. So what would I be think. convex? Convex is if it oh, would go yeah. outside, yeah. Oh. Like if it was like sagging. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that is a concave bridge. This is stuff that goes on in my head. I love it. sitting in a concave. Yeah. She had me play this. How many people have seen this movie? Who can tell us what the name is? I know. Summer of 68. No. <laughs> no. Summer That'd of be the summer of 42. Summer of 42. That's not what this I is. I like this now. Uh, I know. Um, love story. Love, love story. I was in it. It's a miracle! A miracle! Modulating like a mother. I'm hot. Good job. What's over modulating mean? It, it's, it's, it's when the audio clips. Like if it goes to like the yell. red. Yeah. I don't want to take seven with beating the bees now. <laughs> copyright, copyright. Don't listen. You know, in ancient Rome, guys used to chew basil before the prom to get rid of bad breath. Time to get more work done. It's true. The parentals wanted to get pizza for dinner. I stayed back just because I want to get some things done. Look at this little graphic I designed. Do you have proms in ancient Rome? That way I can share that on social media sure. instead of just a boring, you know, typical Twitch preview. That way it's more personal and it gets people interested. And over time I'll switch that out for new pictures, different layouts and all that stuff. So now I'm going to sign up for Wix and get a head start on setting up the FrancoMedia.com just, just to get a feel for Wix. Because like I said, if I'm going to start promoting it, um, I want to be an actual customer of theirs. So this is exciting. I'm just going to log in with Facebook. It's easiest that way. I love that, by the way. Anytime I can sign up for something using my Facebook account, 
I just do it that way. I don't have to memorize my password or anything. It just works. I love simplicity. Yeah, you exchange a bit of privacy, but that's the price of convenience nowadays. We're at Target. No, we ain't. We are Target. Let's no, go. we're not. Why are you saying we're at Target? Big old Target logo. Come on. See ya. Yeah. Guys, you watch the car, okay? Wait! This is kind of early for us. Actually, yeah, you're right. Mom, how are you? It's really early for us. It's only 8 19. Guys, I'm so honest when I say I am blown away by Wix. Like, it is extremely flexible. It allows you to do so much more than Squarespace does, which I love Squarespace, but it's, I don't know, kind of limited in ways. It might be easier to use though because it's more streamlined, but Wix allows you to do so much. And there's Dude. actually so much for me to say that I have to create a dedicated video Dude. about it. What? We're so early that Starbucks is still open. Ah, you want to do Starbucks? Starbucks so yeah, stay tuned open. for more Wix. Probably Wednesday's video. So loud. Do you need anything here? Maybe. I don't even think I need anything. I just like to come here. So to get out of the house for a little bit. I actually don't plan on spending too much. And I think I'm caught up on Amiibo. Maybe. Okay, Only mind? 820, not I know, bad. That's my new favorite thing to do. And sheets next. Do you have room in your key pocket for that? I do. I know it's big. Mm, thank you. Look at this. It's like a skinned giraffe. It's April. Skinned giraffe. April. Poor giraffe. <laughs> Jeffrey. This is just making me more excited about my gaming PC. You can now put your hand on the mice. I don't think it was like this before. I'm pretty sure this is new. But yeah, this is nice. And check this out, the green LEDs follow your hand as you type. I love that. Very, very cool. That's definitely mechanical. I don't own a mechanical keyboard, but I will soon enough. Anyway, I'm getting these Zelda glasses. Aren't they nice? I don't think these were here last week. I'm getting them. There's so much stuff here I want, but you know me. One thing at a time. I don't want to overspend. <laughs> Mom just heard me vlogging from two aisles away, which makes me wonder. Two aisles? Yeah, which makes uh. me wonder how how much do you think people hear? I don't know. Anyway, check them out. <gasps> nice. You still play Zelda? Yeah, yo. I thought Zelda was like a thing of the past. I don't know. <laughs> Back away slowly. Is this a knocking thing? Six five. <laughs> Baby Ruth down. Breath of the Wild, I'm pretty sure, is what drove Switch sales. I guarantee you, if they didn't have Zelda as a launch title for the Switch, and only once you Switch, it wouldn't be nearly as popular. And do you know what comes out in two weeks? Super Mario Odyssey. Halloween? Super Mario Odyssey, Mom. Yay. That comes out on the 27th. Stranger Things Season 2 starts on the 27th and the 27th is the pre-order date and donna's birthday is the 27th for the iphone 10. Damn, can you say big day? That's a big day and then i think about a week later or ish is the xbox one x release date which i pre-ordered a while ago I can't, I can't wait for that there's also a brand new dlc pack coming out for minecraft with like better graphics or whatever oh, so God. i'll be doing that are you making fun of me nope. back to the gaming stuff i kind of want this creeper hat it looks small, like it's for kids. Yeah, I realize a lot of kids play Minecraft. What? Mystery Oreos. This looks really small. If it can fit on two things, then I'll get it. Since I'm into Minecraft again. It looks so small. Oh God, no. And I'm Why not gonna do so one. Tiny. I, I don't like one. Because it's typically a- Who's that dude? Okay, not typically a kids focused game, but a lot of kids like Minecraft. This is true. Remember Brandon played it for a while? Danny, why don't they have the Overwatch hat? Oh, that's the keyboard Danny has. Come on, follow me. What? Come on. This one. Check it out. First of all, this is nothing new. LEDs or whatever. But the fact that the green follows your fingers. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that Danny neat? has that? Yeah, mechanical. How much is it? It's nice. 20 bucks? My guess is 80. Oh. Uh, oh, the whole keyboard. Oh, is this it? 170? Nah, that's for the Chroma. Keyboard, 100. Christ on a cross. Keyboard's 100. Oh, is that it? Chroma? Probably V2. Oh, Chroma. 
Yeah. V2, yeah. 170. Wait, so what's this? Wait, no. This is the regular chroma. What's the difference? Oh. You'd think they would have V2 on display. This one is different. You can you can, you can see right here. So yeah, this this one's a hundred. Why isn't V2 on display? Well, I guess because it's the cheaper one. Because they probably think the average person wouldn't yeah. buy it. Cool. Although to be honest, I would I would never buy my PC stuff at Target. I would do Amazon or Newegg. This is just for show, just to get me ready. I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to start building my PC already. Can we go to bed? Can we go to bed? I'm tired. All right, mom thinks she forgot to pay for something. We're going to check the receipt in real time. Ow. This is honesty kicking in, guys. I don't know where the receipt is. We could easily walk away with this without checking. Know, but we won't because we're honest people. So go ahead, mom. I don't know where the receipt is. Let's teach everyone a lesson. Don't steal stuff. Oh. Danny. Know By the way, you smell like bubble yum. Bye. These girls back here, I, I don't know if you can see, they have like exact matching Jeeps. That is no accident. That's pretty cool. Necklace, necklace, M&M's, Baby Ruth, Twix, Snickers, Butterfingers, Hershey's. <laughs> Wait, stole it. All right. What do you want to do, Deborah? We're going back. This is the Franco. I did that before, remember? Good, honestly. Seriously, mom, props to you. Duh. And honestly, if it was me by myself, I would I would go back in and pay for it. Maybe I'm dwelling on the topic too much. There's just a lot of dishonest people out there. And it's what? A $3. $3 yeah. strip, but still. Every single cent counts. And plus, a little thing called karma and come back and haunt you. Mm -hmm. That like thing could said. spark <laughs> and burn the house down. We're back. Here are my glasses. Sheets was a huge success. Got my coffee for gaming. And I got Wisconsin cheese bites. Mom's gonna try them. Oh my God, I've had these twice now in the Pages Only vlogs. They are so good. It's basically mozzarella sticks, but in ball form. I'm telling you, Mom, they are good. With marinara sauce, you gotta dip them. And honey mustard. Oh, look, they're putting labels on here now. Interesting. Huh, that's cool. Honey mustard. And my chicken strips. Oh, wait, what is this? Yeah, that's marinara. Sheets forgot my buffalo. They always forget freaking buffalo sauce. Yeah, I have some next door. Sheets, I love you, but why are you so bad at forgetting stuff? Actually, no, you're good at forgetting stuff. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah, so look at this. Okay, so look. It's basically a cheese ball. Dip it in there in our sauce. It's so good. You need to watch, Dad. The, come here. David, I am not in the mood for any kind of food like that. Wisconsin okay. cheese bites are so good. Mmm. And I got them chicken strips. Look how good those look. That's a lot of chicken. I asked for five. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Dude. Okay, they forgot the buffalo sauce, but you know what? I got six and a half chicken tenders when they should have given me five. I'll take it. Good chicken tenders. Uh, oh, strips. Same thing, right? Although, I purposely left three left over for tomorrow. It's all about moderation. Okay. Moderation my ass, you're about to eat this. Oh, it tastes like cake. That's okay, exactly. See this exactly. Answer, all right, no. I'll see you guys in a bit. You did it? I'm gonna look different. You gonna make me walk over there? Boom. I just could not deal with the long hair anymore there were certain days where i liked it i liked that shaggy look and that shaggy feeling but man the last time i had a haircut was before seaside nights yes before seaside it's been that long all right it's already 11 13 good times today time to stream on twitch for a few hours so 
Let's make it happen, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. Uh -huh. Dad, say Sunday. hi. Yo, what's up, people? Uh, you didn't do a Facebook stream last night. I was masturbating. People will miss you, Dad. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Hey, I wasn't masturbating. All night. <laughs> I didn't say menstruating. Menstruating. <laughs> menstruating. I menstruate. You masturbate. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happened. Here we go. Don't judge it too much. It's still a work in progress. But there you go. Acoustic sound foam. Or acoustic foam. Acoustic sound is kind of redundant. We got one behind here. And yes, they're very small panels. Definitely a little smaller than they should be. Wow, we'll a bunch behind here. One diamond and one diamond. Now the thing is, all of this might be temporary because at some point I think I'm just going to buy huge panels. That just might be a lot easier. But right now I think it looks pretty cool. And actually Target sells a bunch of little canvas art. Maybe I'll get like a Destiny one here. I don't think that belongs in the office. It's not office related. It's more tech related. But then again, this is a recording studio. I think anything goes that looks good, right? So perhaps for now I'll put something here. And maybe something down there. I don't know. But boom. And if anything, this can't hurt. This cannot hurt my voice at all. This helps. It does nothing but help. Yeah, that looks kind of... I don't know. I need more foam up there. Actually, maybe like one really big panel up there. Mm -hmm. They're just so small. That looks kind of dumb. I don't know why I did that. No, it doesn't. No? You should have done... One, one, diamond. Yeah, then put a picture in the middle. No, diamond, diamond, diamond. One above here, one below here. I'll be right back. Okay. I think that looks better already. It's not perfectly aligned, but this is pretty cool. All right, so just imagine marbles going down. Boom, boom, boom. Opposites attract. Hence why I did horizontal, vertical, horizontal, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. Diamond, since it's alone and there's nothing to compare it to. And same for this one. And same for that one in that corner. I like it. Not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say I'm crazy about it. I've always had a love-hate relationship with acoustic foam. But you know what? I think it's a step in the right direction. And actually, I might be imagining things, but I think the reverb is cut down a little bit. I don't see why not, because if your sound waves are exiting your mouth right here, they're in theory hitting the sound foam and sinking. They're just kind of bouncing back and forth within foam until they just distinguish completely. It's actually really cool to think about. So uh, anyway, there you go. Boom, done. I don't know if, yeah, the audio definitely sounds a little better. I don't, I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow because I don't have much I can do here tomorrow, uh, but I will be back here on Tuesday. So patrons, be on the lookout. You guys will be the first to see my internet connection go live. That should be pretty cool, as I'm telling you. Getting internet in here changes everything. That's my final step in motivating me to finally move everything over. Look at this natural light, freaking love it. Yes, I can move my Mac Pro over, my display, or displays, we'll see, we'll see. So, boom, good start, good start, making progress, and I'm going to Rudders to get some coffee. And maybe lunch, I don't know. I just had coffee, but I need more coffee. So this, is good for now. I like it. That's not my ladder. I am back. Hi, Maui. You want more food? Damn. This cat can eat. There you go. I'm happy to report that Rudders was very quick with my salad. Well, okay, it's a salad, so granted, it's not gonna be that long to begin with, but Rudders is typically a little slow. Sheets, on the other hand, is really fast. But uh, today, they were pretty quick, considering I got a buffalo chicken salad. I haven't even looked at it yet. Here we go. Ooh, that looks good. Now, it's regular fried chicken on top. Oh my God, that does look good. But they give you buffalo sauce on the side, which I actually prefer, and it's hot. Interesting. And a side of ranch. Got down a mounds bar. Many mounds bars? What's that from? Put that in there. Also, I'm happy to report that Rudder seems to be hiring. There were several new faces in there that I never saw before. And it was obvious because I could see this one employee 
training another employee on how to use the coffee machines. Oh my God, Maui. You just shook like $1,400. You crazy? Are you crazy? Actually, probably closer to like fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars if you factor in the microphone. Mm -hmm. So anyway, props to you guys, Rudders. I love you guys, and the fact that you have more employees should mean, well, faster service. So that's always good. Also, my regular employee noticed I got a haircut. She kind of took a double take. She's like, "You got a haircut?" I'm like, "Yeah, finally, long overdue." She's like, "It looks good." So that's pretty cool. Or is it pathetic when employees start? noticing differences about you because you're there so often. Nah, I don't consider it pathetic. I consider it loyal. I'm a pretty freaking loyal customer to rudders and sheets. And Wawa, and Wawa. Not as much when I'm in PA though. Now, what are you doing? Where did you get this piece of chicken? I mean, I, I guess it's yours now. It's covered in fur. Where'd you get a piece of chicken? I don't know where. Did he take it out of my salad when I wasn't watching? I'm gonna have to watch the vlog. Yeah, I realize fried chicken's not healthy for a cat, but it's a treat. Leave him alone. Bye. Bye, guys. Just Bye. Kidding. Peace. Have a great weekend. Peace. Or a great week. Week. Peace. <laughs> Sorry, week. Dad, I'm say bye. This is it. Bye. I'm going to the office to letterize it. Oh, we need the key, hon. Really? Are you? Yes. Just mailbox. Okay. And I'm hooking up the internet. No, you're not. Yeah, Comcast is coming right now. They moved us up. I wish. On a Sunday? Actually, that would be they amazing. Do work seven days a week. Do they really? Yeah. Okay, props to them then. Why not? They got people that they don't work Monday through Sunday. They got people that start only, maybe only Sunday weekends. through or Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Bye, Davies. Bye, Davies viewers. See you next weekend and have a good week. We're going geocache and he's not recording. Hey, are you <laughs> what? Are you yeah. Uh, we saw we saw a couple yesterday geocaching because they asked us questions like hints and they said oh yeah we're do doing doing some geocaching I'm like what I used to do that <laughs> so we're gonna go geocaching later we going that was a tough one I'm not we vlogging didn't know the it restaurant was there yeah I I'm not vlogging it today I'm sorry just because yeah. it's later on Sunday and I want to get a head start on the vlog and miss I'm barefoot no that's stop with the masturbation jokes <laughs> bye I love you bye. Mwah. That's what we do in France. Air kisses. What are you looking at? Have fun, Mom. Love you. Do you? Do you love me? Sometimes I wonder. I don't think they're my real parents, guys. Honestly, I think I was switched at birth. And they signed some kind of agreement saying that they couldn't say, you know. Oh, also, I want to make a correction. When I was talking about my audio foam panels before, I said the audio goes within the little prisms or whatever and distinguishes. I meant to say diminishes. Distinguishes. I love vocabulary. I love grammar, but sometimes I say some stupid shit. I do. Nobody's perfect, all right? Pobody's nerfect. All right, guys, I'm done. I'm actually wrapping up before four o'clock. This is amazing. This gives me plenty of time to edit the vlog, preview the vlog, and spend time with La Familia. Look at this black blob. Blob of blackness. But that's why I love you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You are amazing. Please follow me on Twitch. I know, I know. I'm overdoing it on the only uh, Twitch mentions, but hey, it's new to me right now, at least this phase of Twitch. Oh, by the way, my mom was in here last night. She's like, David, I cannot watch that. And it makes me sick. Hey, hey, hey. It makes her feel nauseous, I guess, because of Fred of Heights. That is beautiful, that 4K, baby. 4K for the win. Also, you can tell it's in slow motion by how slow the cars are traveling. Obviously, because they probably took a drone or, I'm assuming it's a drone. I've always looked for the shadow, but I think they position it so carefully where you can't see the shadow. Or perhaps they edit the shadow out. Because you know Apple, they're, they're all about design and whatever. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for plenty more Twitch streams. And patrons, stay tuned for another long patrons only vlog. The vlogs are now often longer than the weekend vlogs. That's just because I typically do more during the week with my work and the office and all that stuff. And I realize the weekend vlogs are shorter lately. That's not intentional, that's just, I'm not, I'm not doing much on the weekends besides stuff here and maybe a few things at the office. But I promise things will pick up soon because the um, holidays are right around the corner, guys. Christmas is so, so close. So with that said, thank you so much. Your support always means the world to me. And I'll see you next time. Have an amazing week. Peace.